Hello YouTubers, Tech Star Gunner back again with a new video. In this video, we'll be testing out the accuracy of the new Crowl Arms Puncher Breaker, the new Bullpup. I believe it's a new value. It seems to be extremely accurate already. Just sighted it in on paper. I got 0.4 in like six shots. Once it was sighted in, there's two little groups you could see. So it's four tenths of an inch. Here's the streamline. It came out with the same results. Three shots, four tenths of an inch. I was just making sure it was still dead. Still, still on before we started this test. Now in this test, we got the puncher breaker, silent wanna and 22 caliber. We're gonna be shooting the 18.13 grain JSBs and we're going to be comparing it to the FX Streamline in 25 and we're going to shoot the lighter 25.39 grain GS, JSBs because I tuned this gun down to shoot these pellets right at 850 feet per second so I can get the most accuracy. I have more of these pellets for 25 is why I did that. So if you want to get to it, let me go turn on my action cam down there, down range and uh, let's get these shots. All right, we got the action cam on downrange. I'm right at 25 yards. You can see the wind isn't too great today. You can see the shadow of these trees bouncing around. As you'll notice behind me, it's at least 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. So bear in mind that. So let's get to it. Both guns are filled up all the way. This isn't regulated, so I took a couple shots to get it off it's shot curve, just three shots. So keep that in mind and let's see how she does. I'm gonna shoot the top target first, 10 shots with the puncher breaker and then we'll switch over to the streamline and take another 10, see how it does. And I'm using the single shot tray on both. You're wondering how I got a single shot tray for the streamline. I made it myself out of wood, it works great. It's very easy to do. So let's get to it. There's one. main differences I can notice in these guns right off the bat is the trigger. The FX trigger is just amazing. There's no comparison. That's The trigger's better than any firearm trigger I've ever used. And I've shot an Elfman tactical on my AR before and it's about dang close. This seems to be pushing hole in hole. There's three. Just pulling them right out of the tin. See, I'm not sorting. Four. Number seven. There's number eight. Number nine.
Here's 10. That one pulled a little bit, but hey, that's what happens when you're just, you're not trying to cherry pick it. All right, let's move over to the streamline. See how she does. I want to compare this too, basically, because this setup is twice as much as that setup. Scope twice as much, over twice as much, gun twice as much. So this is a good comparison. And, you know, is it worth the money to spend all the extra if you're just trying to pun or what else you could say? I mean, all right. First shot on the bottom target. So the trigger on this is just amazing. You got, you got to get used to it after shooting the puncher. And the weight, that's another thing. FX has got it, the weight down awesome. It's four. It's five. Only one got away so far that I pulled. All the rest of them seem to be hole in hole. Six, I think this is number seven, or let's just say five. This is number six. If I'm wrong, oh well, we put 11 in it. Let's say this is number seven. Here's 10. See, I it was bullseye. The trigger's so light it just went off, but I hit bullseye as you can see. Give me a second, let me go down range, grab these cards, and I'll be right back. All right, YouTubers, I'm back with results. And they're pretty damn good, there's really, not much difference as you can see. Here's the streamline results. I'll post a picture and put them up real quick. And here's the puncher breaker results. Let's see if I can get up there and put them up so you can see them live. So you're talking 0.15 of an inch difference at 25 yards. And I would say a lot of that is to contribute to the trigger probably. I haven't adjusted the trigger. It's pretty good. It's a, it's just different. The FX is just, you just barely touch it and it goes off. This one has actually got a, a pull to it, you'd say, a, a couple pounds or more. And this one is less than a pound but I would say for the money this puncher breaker is definitely definitely well worth it considering I have half 
less than half the amount with ammo included for this gun as I do this gun. I would strongly recommend Pyramid Air ordering this. Put the links below. I mean, I have the walnut as you can tell. It's definitely heavier. Than yeah, this thing is rock solid. And uh, I would really, or, or highly recommend buying one. If you're looking into getting a PCP and you like bullpups and you want to save some money, like I said, this setup, ammo, everything, around $800, which <clears throat> Streamline alone is $9.99 by itself. So that's a killer deal. You see the results. They're not bad. <laughs> There's really much, not really much difference. I would say the wind would play more of a role on the, the weight of the pellets for the 25 versus the 22. So it's not really totally fair, you would say. Um, also, I never tested any of the other pellets out. I just threw the 18 ones in here. They shot good, so I used them. And uh, I will be doing other reviews on these other pellets. I have five different kinds for the 22. So we'll try them all out to see what works best. I'll let you know. So if you order one, you'll know, order, you'll know which pellets to order with your gun. So far, the 18-1-3s are rocking it. My experience with them was just go ahead and get you some of those. The 1589s have never really let me down. I haven't shot it. I don't really want to resight it in, so I'll just shoot the 18s until I run out of them, and then, or I just I don't know. We'll figure it out together as a as an experiment. We'll learn how this how good this gun shoots and what it shoots with and. Like I said uh, before, please subscribe to my channel and check out my webpage for air gun apparel, t-shirts and stuff. I'm selling these new, the new suppressors on there when I get them in. They take a while to get in. The finish is crappy. It comes right off, so I have to refinish them for you. But $100, I'll do it all, ship them to your house for free, as long as you ain't got no state or some weird restrictions on them, which nobody should. They're just air rifles. Um, I'll get them to you. Uh, they take a little while, so bear with me on that. And then also, I mean, just go to Pyramid Air, check them out. They have a, Crowl Arms has a few different models. This is this isn't the only model. They have regular rifles. Uh, I think a Puncher Pro, and then another Puncher. And then there's three different models of this same one. They have the synthetic, and then they have the Marine version, which is like a stainless steel. And they're, I think the most expensive one is 549 so I mean, even that, geez, that's a great deal. And like always, Pyramid Air has the affirm option to be able to pay these things off, get them zero down, which is always a plus. And until next time, subscribe, and I'll see you later.